My name is Bill Tim. I live in Northern California. Um, this is 2018 right now. I have been studying the weather modification phenomena for the last six years or so. And basically video documenting what I have seen. I'm sort of an amateur photographer. I have also uh, contacted all of my elected officials and told them about the weather modification and presented a formal resolution with NASA documentation about weather modification um, requesting public consent uh, before they do any weather modification programs. And basically, uh, I have been somewhat ignored. Um, no one seems to want to um, do anything about the spraying. And so I feel very upset about the fact that my congressman basically does not want to admit um, the spraying is going on. Uh, neither do uh, my local grand jury. My local grand jury actually uh, does not uh, want to get involved. They're not admitting anything either way, um, nor do my local Air Quality Control Board, um, they supposedly are only required to uh, regulate things coming from the ground. They're, they don't regulate anything coming from the sky. So one of the things that got me motivated basically was when I went from my congressman's office and they, they were actually trying to uh, uh, mislead me regarding the contrail formation and the weather modification program. So since then, I was motivated to clarify the truth uh, regarding these mo weather modification programs. One of the next things that motivated me is that um, I had already been studying um, these programs for uh, probably four or five years, four years at least. And I've been to my Board of Supervisors meeting and uh, one of the supervisors asked me if I could prove um, the weather modification programs. And I don't remember exactly. I may have referred uh, him to the uh, the Navy's. Uh, they call it the Weapons Testing and Training Program off the coast. And anyone who knows anything about weather modification, uh, there was the Project Storm Fury, which controlled hurricanes probably 20 years ago. There was also Project Popeye, I believe in 74, which created monsoon floods uh, in the Vietnam War. And, you know, they also, off the subject, they also sprayed the Agent Orange, which poisoned uh, the people and the, the land. And these are the kinds of things our government does um, to take control. It's basically all about control, the way I figure. It's about population reduction. It's about um, controlling the commodities market. It's about controlling food production. It's about controlling the energy from the sun, basically, the um, nutrients you may receive from the sun. It's about 
controlling the power electricity you receive from the sun. It's about Monsanto and their ability to genetically alter seeds that um, grow in the fallout from the weather modification spraying program. It's commonly known that the fallout contains barium, aluminum, strontium, coal ash, ammonium, silver iodide, things like this. And they could be testing all kinds of things. Um, so Monsanto has genetically altered their seeds to grow in this fallout. Now, there is another possible motive um, and that is basically creating diseases and creating new drugs to control the diseases or drugs to suppress the symptoms of the diseases. And then taking it one step further, um, there could actually be nanoparticulates that control brain waves coupled with the HARP program um, the whatever the 4G cell tower network is commonly known that each thought contains a frequency and so these frequencies can be manipulated by radio waves or harp type technology and so Let's go back to the Navy weapons testing and training off the coast. Now, they had several public meetings here. The Navy um, had public meetings to um, try and tell the public that there was nothing, nothing was going to hurt any of the wildlife or the fishing industry was not going to be impacted. One of these meetings, I mean, I think the first meeting was like packed, I mean, outside the building, there were people, not a lot, but there were a few outside the building, it was down here at the Warfinger building on the bay. Um, I think one of the last meetings they had, I went there early, I talked to three of the Navy representatives, and they said, I asked them about the HARP uh, High Oral Research Program to manipulate the jet, jet stream or the ionosphere, the uh, high and low pressure zones in the um, atmosphere. And basically they said they don't know anything about it. Now this kind of struck me as a little bit odd because the Navy supposedly is has partially funded the uh, high oral research program in Kokona, Alaska. Now, this high oral research program um, probably has several aspects. It has over the horizon radar uh, improvements whereby they can basically use the ionosphere, spray these particulates, produce a plasma in the air, and thus uh, basically go around the globe with their radar to detect things in um, the atmosphere. Um, so, you know, this is all connected to the military industrial complex the way I see it, to basically uh, have more control. So when I asked these Navy representatives, you know, they kind of mocked me and said, well, if you heard it on the internet, it's not true. So I, I was a little bit motivated by that because basically the internet was invented to, for military uh, use. Um, and so uh, there was just the, this, Things just didn't seem right. Uh, all my pu public officials were ignoring the issue. When I called up the EPA, they said, well, are you talking about the chemtrails? And I said, no, I'm talking about the weather modification programs. And they said, oh, well, we know what you're talking about. We have a special hotline for that. 
So they gave me an 800 number. I called the number. They basically said it was a recorded message saying we do not take we do not take messages. Recorded message saying that similar to the fa similar to something like, well, if you're calling about the jet spraying, uh, you need to go to our website and learn how contrails are formed. Now, from what I understand, uh, contrails usually dissipate one or two uh, lengths from the plane, depending upon the, high, the how high the jet is flying and how much moisture there is in the air. And several people have used the, the coined the phrase, if you are walking in a cold, on a cold day and you breathe out, you will see condensation sort of haze coming out of your mouth. So as you breathe out on, an, on a very cold day, the sort of mist that comes out of your mouth is condensation. Now, a lot of people compare that to the contrails or the spraying program with these jet spraying uh, weather modification materials. Now, if you breathe out, you have a condensa condensation trail a mile back as you're walking forward. As you breathe out, this condensation trail is a mile long. And they've compared these to the jets. And the long horizon to horizon spray jet trails. And they say that if your condensation breath was a mile long as you walk on a cold day, and that's comparing it to the sprays now with the jets, and that cannot be condensation. I have typically seen what seems to be these jets turning on and off their sprays. I have seen jets flying close to each other spraying. And so to me this indicates it's, and they're not commonly spraying in a commercial passenger jet um, flight pattern. I've seen jets flying basically parallel spraying. Uh, I've seen them spraying loops over the city. And once again, seemingly to turn on and off their sprayers. Now, sometimes the, there, there are no, uh, there are uh, sprays in the air as well. Uh, sometimes I've seen them turn off and on, seemingly turn off and on, with sprays in the air, uh, seemingly turn off and on, and not uh, uh, coming upon any seemingly different weather patterns. And so, to me, the lack of um, my public officials' interest in the outcry and the official documents that I presented to them and the evidence that I've documented for the last um, five years. Uh, it's a covert program. It's a covert program to control the weather. It's a covert program to control the environment and control what people think about it, what people are thinking, uh, coupled with the um, fluoride in the water. Um, basically, it's all about control, controlling people's thoughts, controlling people's ability to try and change those who want to control the masses. So basically, that's the way I see it. And so um, do your own research and uh, study the subject. And 
So that's my story. Uh, so, uh, you know, you have a, a 747 or a 